There are plenty of twists in Spider-Man Far From Home, and with everything going on, there were bound to be a few questions that got tangled up in the web of illusion. From cliffhangers, to dangling plot threads, to reveals with massive implications for the future of the MCU, here are the biggest unanswered questions in Spider-Man Far From Home. Spoilers ahead! The after credit scene in Spider-Man Far From Home drops several bombs in quick succession and introduces multiple questions about the future of the MCU. The scene sees Nick Fury and Maria Hill driving when, surprise, they turn into Skrulls. Well, technically, the Skrulls who are masquerading as Fury and Hill reveal their true forms. It turns out that for the entire movie, the Skrulls Soren and Talos were covering for the former S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Talos then calls someone to report on everything that just went down in Europe, and we see that he's talking to none other than Nick Fury himself, who's on some sort of spaceship or high-tech base manned by Skrulls. But where is he? Well, while the film doesn't give any concrete answers, there's one possibility that would open up a whole new world. Now that Far From Home has officially closed the door on MCU Phase 3, we're on the cusp of a future where the MCU gets a lot bigger and more cosmic. A bigger universe means bigger threats, and what's poor little planet Earth to do in the face of intergalactic alien invaders? Easy, build a big space station to protect the world from extraterrestrial threats. Fortunately, someone's already done that. SWORD, or the Sentient World Observation and Response Department, which debuted in Astonishing X-Men in 2004 and went on to appear in issues of Captain Marvel and Secret Invasion, to name a few comic titles. It's basically S.H.I.E.L.D. in space, and it operated as a subdivision of S.H.I.E.L.D. Is that where Nick Fury was? There's nothing in the film to confirm it, but if the post credit scene of Far From Home did in fact introduce S.W.O.R.D., it's kind of a big deal. See, since it debuted in an X-Men comic, the film rights to the agency have long been mired in the whole Fox-Marvel legal rights struggle. Now that Disney's acquisition of Fox has gone through, however, that years-long question of who owns what is a moot point, and the introduction of S.W.O.R.D. may just mark one of the first steps in bringing parts of these different universes together. Spider-Man Far From Home's plot is all about how appearances can be deceiving. Its central villain, Mysterio, uses complex holograms to trick the world into thinking monsters are coming out of the ground. And he puts that tech to good use in his battles with Spidey, plunging our hero into a world where nothing is what it seems. He's full of tricks. And now our magic trick. Illusion. Silence, slave! Paranoia and illusion are all pieces of the puzzle here, which makes the end credits reveal that Maria Hill and Nick Fury were Skrulls the whole time so perfect. But that also raises another question with even bigger ramifications. Fury has known about and potentially been working with the Skrulls since the 90s, the decade where Captain Marvel is set. Despite Carol promising to find them a new home, some Skrulls apparently hung around on Earth, and Fury clearly has no more qualms about letting them impersonate important people. Does this mean we should expect other characters to turn out to be secret scrolls? Hopefully not, but now that the cat's out of the bag, anything is possible. Like Tom Holland himself, Peter Parker is terrible at keeping secrets. Far From Home marks the second solo Spidey movie in the MCU, and it also marks the second solo Spidey movie in the MCU where the main bad guy knows Peter's real identity. I'd kill you. And everybody you love. In the mid credit scene, Mysterio reveals Spider-Man's identity to the world, which is one of Peter's biggest fears. He just watched Quentin Beck target his closest friends with murder drones, so he has first-hand knowledge of the dangers of having your secret identity exposed. All 35 people off the bus. Now that the whole world knows who he is, his life is basically open season for any bad guy who may want a piece of the spider pie. We know from Homecoming that Scorpion's itching to get back at Spider-Man. Who else might join the bug hunt? All his friends and loved ones are in danger, and even his home is no longer safe. Clearly, the reveal was intended as a cliffhanger for a third Spider-Man film, and it's the kind of question that could lead in any direction. For a movie about Spider-Man, Far From Home sure spends a lot of time focusing on Iron Man, specifically on the vacancy Tony Stark left behind. There's a hole in the Avengers roster, a hole in Peter's heart, and a hole in the world where the armored Avenger used to stand. Peter himself grapples with the question of whether he is, or at least is supposed to be, the next Iron Man. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. What? Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He even gets into the spirit of Tony when he gets to work building his new suit while listening to his favorite Led Zeppelin song, ACDC's Back in Black. 
But ultimately, there is no answer to be found in Spider-Man Far From Home. The film builds the question to a crescendo, then leaves it hanging there, presumably for a future MCU installment. Darn you and your endless sequels, Marvel! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite superhero films are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.